it away. So without further ado, we got Bryce Sangudo Stables popping up next. Bryce, great to see How's you. How's it going? Again. How are you? Good to see you. Doing good, man. How are you? Oh, man, couldn't be better. It was a great night. Uh, oh. and then, uh, for everybody in the chat, um, Bryce stepped up at the last second and uh, filled an empty spot in our schedule tonight. So couldn't uh, couldn't be more appreciative of you coming on tonight. Yeah, the wife's always happy to get rid of me for a bit. So. <laughs> oh, good. I was about to say, yeah, my wife is kind of the last minute like, here, can you take care of both the kids? <laughs> isn't as quite as well received but oh you, you've, you've got little ones mine are all a little bit older so i can yeah just they're not self -sufficient. Tell, tell them to take care of themselves yeah, yeah not quite yet <laughs> nice um so i'm sure bryce you need no introduction but sangudo stable has been around a long time in the discord uh now haku mod mod or i'm not exactly sure what your title at haku is but uh, community manager but uh it's, it's a different role than than the zed community managers for sure but uh, yeah no great excited to be Part of that team. Love it. Um, so uh, you've been in the game for a long time, um, and you've got a horse that you're bringing to the table, a Z32 Buterin Elite. And I know just from kind of the outside looking in, you've always sort of been able to maximize on these these higher Z breeds. So um, frankly, what's the secret? Well, in the in the newer version, it's it's just knowing knowing the horses that I've got, what they're good at, what they're not. Um, the one that I'm going to run tonight, it's Mom Sugar Capital is, according to Twitter thread last week, one of the four purebred buterins that's been profitable in, in or earned more than its breed cost in V2 breeding. Hmm. So she's a nice nice female. Uh, she'll win freeze. I can't remember if I've got her to one yet, but she declasses easy, so I usually don't let her get that high. Uh, and the dad, <clears throat> more of a base ability horse, um, enhancing capital. Uh, again, he's been up. I know he's been up to C1. He is not the easiest thing in the world to declass. Doesn't have the high end variance though. They both have capital in their main name. They share the same mom, which is actually the horse behind me here, decreasing capital or Z10 Buterin. That's uh, a pretty darn nice runner. So. We did did a little bit of inbreeding tonight, so I'm I'm excited to, to test this out. I'm certainly not above just testing things out on on stream or, or for a maiden. So I love it. Well, hey, anytime you can point to your horse on the wall, I feel like that's got to be a good bloodline, right? Yeah, no. Prospect Stables hooked me up with this here. He gave me the thing. I got it printed off. Uh, he's uh, Prospect's an awesome guy. If anybody's looking for stable logos or anything crazy, just hook him up. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to take a quick break, Bryce, real quick, and we are going to yep. pick the winner of this uh, Z, whatever it is. What is it? 28, I think. Uh, it's got good good bloodline. I bred this horse in-house with two. Uh, it should be good, long story short. So here's our winner, the local boy. Uh, so the local boy, if you are in the chat still, hopefully, um, leave a comment. Hey, there you are. Wonderful. Um, <clears throat> put your wallet address in the chat and I'll send you this horse right now all right so Bryce uh, we've got capitalizing the market um, what funnel are we expecting this horse to to run in where are we looking for it a it should be pretty pure 2200 all the way up to 26 in that range so okay uh, definitely definitely looking marathon on this one okay looks like we've got uh, a couple of 22s and a 26 available right now. Let's uh, let me hit one of the 22s. Any of them got horses we in got, it? That one's yeah, six, we got out, six of out of ten. Let's do that one. Anything of note there? Not really. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, uh, absolutely. If you want to try and uh, wait for a I, different I, field. I just looked to make sure there was no Z2s or Z4, <laughs> any super low Zs, or or the name Arbitrage. Other than that, we're pretty right. good. Yeah. Or or. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Ner Arbin is running out some some monsters tonight. I hear. Yes, that's uh, <laughs> that's what I was hoping to avoid. So, nice. all right. Well, I'm gonna run out. Go bomb. Another horse that I reached out to an unknown father somewhere out the out there in the abyss. Yeah, uh, I, I sniped one of those Z ones that was in at the minimum here about half hour ago. I I saw that. Yeah. Actually, I again, same mom, decreasing capital. I sniped the breed with that. So. Great. I personally love to breed the really good knack blood with D 
decrease in capital or a good running buterin because then you got a buterin offspring, hopefully a male. Yeah. Because then you can breed that blood for dirt cheap. Yeah. No, that's what I've been doing too, actually, the last like week or two. Um, I've been taking actually my donkey buterins, not the not the, not the good ones, because I'm still doing experiments with the good ones, trying to see if they're worth yeah. anything, like matching DP and stuff. So I'm taking the donkeys, and I'm pairing donkey buterins with those minimum like point, basically anything under point one knack genesis, uh, which, admittedly, the the dad's not a spectacular horse, but its base ability is high, and so I'm paying like less than a hundred bucks or so and getting a horse yep. that's better than the G Genesis Butte that I started with. So nice. Yeah. I that's, that's the way, that's the way to treat the females. I agree. Yeah. Um, and they've been decent, like nothing spectacular, but one of them call one of them, uh, got second or third in a tournament race the other day. So, yeah. you know, well, I, I bought, you know, what, when the new breeding algo came out, um, I focused more on base ability you know everybody was kind of smashing dps a lot i bought a z2 knack name enhance for like 0.14 that's got like an 88 base ability or something on the z score hmm. and i've just been breeding him with everything <laughs> and almost all of his breeds well they're not great they're getting into c2 c1 almost all of them have either paid for their breed or, or very close to it and then like i said mixing finny buter and zabo blood it, it just breeds some base ability through the stable. Now I'm kind of looking for variants and hoping to eventually get one of those magical mixes where you get the high variance horse from one and the high base ability from another. But Nice. So if we, uh, we race is full and we've got a flame for capitalizing the market, um, Z30. We do? Yeah, nice. You, you bet your ass we do, Bryce. That's Love it. <laughs> Z32 uh, looks like second third highest z in the race and you got a flame so what do you, what do you take what do you take from that what's your what's your reaction uh, i'm just looking at the field here now it is certainly a weaker field just looking at z numbers obviously we haven't dug into all of them but there's some notable stables out there that don't breed donk so my first reaction is this horse is going to be exactly what i wanted it to be which is a horse that will run free marathons all the way up to C2 and win and then hopefully declass pretty easily in sprints so it's again very first look it's exactly what I thought it would be nice <clears throat> so in the current uh, sort of meta of the game are you breeding a horse with the expectation that it's just going to hang out in free races and try and qualify for tournaments or do you go in paid races with these breeds what, what's your racing strategy uh, I will go and pay races uh, for sure. Um, I mean, I don't love the top six, but that's just because I'm a I want to win or not. So <laughs> I, I love what they do for the ecosystem, not for my stable. How's that? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I will. I, I'll play with this one here. I've played with Sugar Capital a little bit in paid races, but for me, uh, I'm I'm a I'm a tournament junkie. I think I had nine of them in the pity point today all of them from the breeding barn. I really don't expect any of them to do anything, but I, I love running in the tournaments. and So I'll keep doing that. But yeah, no, I'll run this one here. Again, if it's if it's what I think it is, it's certainly getting us some paid action. Nice. So and with... Go ahead. I'm, go I'm, ahead. I'm still... I'm, I've got lots of horses, but I'm still searching for that C1 paid racing. You know, I know I'm going to make money on this. I don't, don't have that. You know, the... Jennies that I have certainly certainly can't do that. Couple, well, I got three Zabos, um, but I've almost got the one that I bought like three weeks ago down classed into C two. I'll try it in Pades and C two. Um, yeah, yeah, it's I mean, that's a, it's a small group of horses that can compete in paid races yeah. right now. So certainly is so, but no, I'm hey, that's that's the hope, right? Like one of these times when I'm mixing a base ability and a variance horse, it's yep. hopefully one of these times it'll hit or. You know, a horse like this can can produce something that, uh, yeah, if it takes the best of everything or even pulls from a grandparent, I, that that's fine for me as well. So uh, it's all about mixing the blood. And I've got enough horses where I do a lot of experimenting. Nice. Yeah. No, I'm the same way. I'm just that it, there's and especially only being able to breed these females once a month. Like the experimentation is going to take. God, it's been a year and a half, and I'm still I haven't even bred all my horses together yet. 
it's well, okay. but yeah, I mean, really though, it's only been four months since since V two because everything before, I had one. The other horse behind me here is the Z19 Legendary. Why is it up there? Because it bred Divine Talent. Mm-hmm. It bred Raw Zone. I knew exactly what it was going to breed. Didn't matter who the dad was. Yeah. And then that all changed, and now she's breeding crap. <laughs> yeah. Which is frustrating. But yeah, it's a little frustrating. <laughs> I know some of my best, some of my best racers from my early days uh, are not super great. There's not much you're going to do with a Z Z17 Legendary Butte that uh, has like a 17 base ability and pretty good dis- distance preference but it's not gonna <laughs> I've, come got, I've got a few of those as well yeah, yeah you're gonna qualify for a few tournaments in c5 and down class once you hit c4 yeah yeah and, and pray for seg and pray for heavy segmentation yep that is not the game that i personally <laughs> play but you know as soon as rental is available toyota prius is ready for anybody who wants him <laughs> uh, i've got well, I had I hit 99 horses in the stable the other day that had made a tournament, and I sold a bunch of them off at wow. floor prices. But yeah, I again, there's pros, there's cons to lending, but it's something I certainly would be interested in for a lot of these horses that I know can make tournaments. Heck, I'll tell you exactly how to run them, but yeah, there's no, just not enough time, especially now that I'm jockeying for a few horses as well. It's like, okay, well, there goes the attention. I had to whittle my stable down even further and saying. All right, that that C4 runner just just ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I personally like I can't wait for lending, just from the standpoint of like I bred, I think I bred nine or ten horses for the maiden today, which is excessive. There's no reason for me to do that, but I just like to breed. And, I'm at uh, thirteen, I think. <laughs> yeah, but like, and I and I'm gonna get out of here, and I'm gonna have to go like put my daughter to bed, and then I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep, and I gotta go to, get up and do shit tomorrow. Like, I'm not going to really discover half these horses, so, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to being able to let someone else do that. <laughs> yep. No, I am too, and the two guys that were running for me, it's it's summertime, they they don't have time, a buddy and my brother, and, you know, come winter, they'll run them more, but yeah, these horses here, I mean, a lot of them, it'll be a quick, all right, is, is there anything here? No, I'll I'll list it for cheap, or I'll put it in the, blue, in the, in the breeding barn that I've got to look at later or pity point run or if i have a day where i'm i'm way ahead on racing and have time I'll, I'll dig through there and okay who do i need to explore but yeah too many horses to to run them yep. all nearly what they should yep yeah no absolutely um and real quick i wanted somebody in the chat said they came over from youtube for the giveaways uh that we were just doing just the one giveaway uh, so if you want to go back to youtube you can <laughs> do whatever you want to do all right so Horses breaking. Uh, we got Go Bomb. Go Bomb's made a move. Not a very good one though. So we'll just ignore him. Capitalizing the market, holding back. Yeah, I like Waiting it. We're it. up front. We'll hold and then yeah, this is pick good. here at about a quarter good, mark. Good form. There this is it a goes. 2200. So yeah, we got. Th- I'm very optimistic at this point, to be honest. That's a pretty good. Everybody else run. is climbing the ladder. Everybody else is already, there. We go. Gate 12 might be giving you a run for it down here. But it's looking pretty good. Looking like you got at least a podium uh, out of it. Um, uh, that looks like a win to me, but we'll see if it'll hold. But yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah. 12 is moving pretty good. Yeah, you're... Oh, no, actually, yeah, that's... Galactic for months. Coming up the last second, but the, not going to be enough. Yeah, he you broke, got it. He broke late. You got it. Congratulations, sir. Hey, hey, hey. So just as you... Had expected, uh, and as I was saying, you you have got some sort of magic dust with these high Z buttes. Um, that that already, that already paid for its breed cost. See, the <laughs> buterins are the way. Like, don't listen to what some people tell you. Buterins are the way. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, there. That that horse is already ROI positive. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right. Woo! So, uh, go bomb. By the way, not the way. Go bomb is not the way. Uh, but anyway, so uh, that was a 2200 meter. Got the flame, got the win, and we're it's tournament day. So are you heading straight back to 22, or where what's where are you heading next? Uh, more than likely, yeah. I'll, I'll just again the grandma, both parents. 22 is its best distance, although 26 is fine. And I haven't yeah, even uh, looked. To I see have all what, day. 
so for anybody in the chat that's wondering, maiden distances for the qual quarterfinal, uh, 1,200, 1,800, 24. So, okay. Uh, I haven't even looked yet. Yeah, I, I, for, I always forget <laughs> to check. So uh, with that in mind, are you going to try out 24 just to see how it yeah. does? You're just going to keep hammering probably. 22? I don't know. I'll probably, honestly, if I see a weak field, like, okay, honestly, if I see a field like this, Z number wise, I'll jump on a 24, 26, but I'll look to keep it 22 just because, again, I, that's what I thought its best distance would be. It did exactly what I had hoped for, so I mean, I'll ride that. And yeah, keep fingers crossed that it pulled the best of all the ancestors, and maybe we've got something here. Nice. Oh, I... Yeah, it's it's pretty nice <laughs> being able to start the start the start the tournament off. And all right, this this horse yeah. is already net you gotta, positive. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. I'm just sorry. I'm just reading the chat backwards, and I see Zook telling people to cut my head off, and I it was very out of context. I had to read up and figure out what the hell he's talking about. But yeah, uh, go guess. We. <laughs> yes well hey man this is uh yeah so you do. uh thank uh, thank you thanks again for coming on um so you said you bred a shitload of horses for tonight what else you got what are you rolling out that you're excited about uh i got a z4 um bred in house from edmonton and enhance and last tournament it didn't run great i think it won its griffin but then it like it barely got in and then it flamed and won its quarterfinal flamed didn't do much in the semifinal, and I forgot to delist it. <laughs> oh. I had it up at point one five, uh, unraced, and yeah, somebody bought it. I haven't checked up on it, but same time that horse, yeah, it it, it had paid for its breed cost basically, even though it was with a, a knack. It was a little bit light, but winning the Griffin, winning first in a quarterfinal, and then somebody bought it for five times breeding cost. It's like all right, I, I can't be too upset with that, but yeah, I mean, um, yeah. no, I. I got some other fun ones here that are running and hopefully we'll win a few more Griffins and have some success in the, in the tournament tomorrow. Right on. That's awesome, man. Well, I appreciate you coming up and uh, anything else you want to plug or you got a, You have a discord or you got your, your beginner stuff are, to do. What, what are you up to these days? Uh, a lot of time spent on Haku these days <laughs> uh, with the marketplace expanding and things like that. I do still have my discord. If anybody wants in, just come on in. It's not super frequent. There's, probably a dozen of us in there that talk a fair amount and i'm probably on the lower end of the activity but it's super chill i've never had any any intention of making it a huge thing or or expanding that sort of thing because i just don't have the time so yeah yeah it's a lot it's a lot but no just uh keep looking on haku we get some fun stuff that's going to be rolling out here in the next couple weeks and uh yeah you'll find me twitter discord i'm still always around awesome cool man well, i appreciate it Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you see you out on the track. All right, man, get get a win out there. Yeah, I'm, I will try.